Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Gig and Jew. I welcome to this fantastic, fantastic tutorial on Canva. So before we get started, as usual, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime, anytime I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into Canva. So uh, I created a design, I think, let me, let me, okay. So I created this in Canva and um, i shared it on some pages and all of that and i just thought that wow let me just teach people how i did this you know there's this um shadow and all of that yeah so this video is to give you each no it's to give you all the things you need to know and how i created this okay so the first thing to do is to create a new design custom dimensions and by now you should know what i always go for 1080 by 1350 okay and create design so yeah then it has to load up oh, hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up you know i'm just uh so oh my goodness i'm just so excited okay and uh i read a post on instagram just a while ago and my brother was telling me that hey you know it's good to control your passion so i'll try to control my passion okay yeah so okay so i got you know i'll make a tutorial on how to create this logo also only if i don't forget i didn't create it in canva but i'll show you how to create it in canva very easy and simple okay so um okay so i got this image from on splash.com so just hover and you can search for on splash okay and um no just free photos you can use for your designs so what i searched was ninja that's what i searched for and it came with the slashing all of those slashing things and so you can you know interesting photos here it should be somewhere uh ah, is it you know it should be somewhere there okay i think or oh, is it slice I think something like a slice or ninja something similar uh, I can't find it anyway you know I was just trying to be good but it looks like I can't remember but I use sliced or something like that ninja or something like that so yeah so back to our design how many have I created two let me close this okay so the first thing I'll do is I just brought in my image okay beautiful and i have this gradient um shadow over here so i just added it also okay just spread it bring it down and just in case you don't have the shadow i posted um, a tutorial just recently on this um, nike shoe stuff so there's a link down there which will lead you to this and i also use the same procedure to um create the nike design so you can just check it out okay then select and i duplicated it to so control c then oh control c what's happening oh uh, see what's happening a video so you can actually embed a youtube video wow this is this is scary okay i was sharing a link with someone and anyway this is not what we are trying to do so ctrl c ctrl v yeah and i just did that a number of times to make it darker and the next thing i did was i think i also did this ctrl c ctrl v turned it upside down you know because um it's just too bright at the top so 90 i just look i'm looking for 180 oh 180 and you take it to the top okay which is very cool so that you know whatever you get right here because the light is too much so we should find ways to keep it dark okay and it helps us to focus here also on the slice so the next thing i came was i just um, let me just copy i don't want to um i don't want to start from scratch let me close this one too so and i'll just lock this to help me and lock this one too 
so i'll just paste okay slay so maybe here i'll rather say slice how do you spell slice s l i c e okay so i spelled it thank you very much even though you didn't help me out okay then i'll because i want us to focus also on the knife slice you know and okay so this is interesting and with the font which font did i use i used the kushan or kaushan script okay so i'll just copy you can search for it but i don't want to waste your time that's why i'm trying to do all of this quickly so what i would see here is slice no i don't want it doesn't really work nice with um you know caps so i'll just say slice your fears okay and you know we always have to slice our fears and uh, try to make the best of best of what I don't know anything you think you can make the best out of just try to so out no, not send to back but send backward okay and you can use the arrow key to increase you know to get that kind of effect and you know slice your fears with this with this thing you see over here i created it with canva and i'll show you how to do it later okay so not in this one but later and i think yeah so that's mainly how i created this and maybe what we can also add is if you have your logo or something like that you can just add it on top okay and that's that's uh, that's the breakdown of how i created every single thing so you realize there's the shadows over here and this shadow i went on google and i searched for shadows you know so and you can also do the same so shadow png and it should load up if it doesn't load then just throw your computer away you know so there's so many shadows over here and you just pick one but just make sure just make sure it's in png because if it's not in png it's not going to work fine at all okay uh, i don't know if i have it on my computer still because i always delete them after i download them so and when it's in png you see this um checked whatever boxes you know behind it actually when you click on it or uh, one of these websites should lead us there okay so i don't know i try to make my tutorials very serious like try to be organized and very serious but uh, it doesn't work well for me and i don't know if you like it i just want to be feel uncomfortable in talking as if i'm talking <laughs> to you so yeah you know like i was saying so you can search and um i'm sure it should come in png i'm not going to download it because um yeah then the only thing i did was uh so i brought it on okay and i rotated it 90 degrees celsius uh 90 i'm okay then i just dragged it up and dragged it up and i brought it here so and okay so I mean, okay okay and the reason you know even with this control c control v if i'm to do the same thing over here we want to make people focus more on uh hold on i'm trying to okay 90 <laughs> you want to make people focus more on the slice okay so you can duck in everywhere and just leave the side on so that your main focus goes on the slice so what i can do here is i'll just right click and i'll bring to front okay so that you know it's in the dark and it makes everything look killer fantastic you know so this is how i created it in canva and if you want to see the post i made on it i haven't actually made posted it yet it'll be posted i don't know when but i'm sure by the time this video will be posted you will see it so this is the full post i created okay and um it's on canva shortcut on canva so you can just check it out and yeah i'm just sure it would help you so if you want to learn more about design just hover onto um 
you know instagram african geeks that's the name and i have a lot of posts on designs like you you wouldn't believe it and all of this is going for free okay it's going for free so why don't you just hop on and just read a few of them and like them and uh, you can also have a chat with me if you don't mind so yeah the name is benjamin and you know not to waste your time but don't forget like share subscribe that's the most important thing so that you do not miss any video from me so the name is benjamin again and i'll see you in my next video